Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If you want to know if someone has values or principles and is a fair or honest or just person, see how that person reacts when things go against his interests and see how that person will analyze a situation or, you know, an outcome that runs against his wishes and if he's able to see it okay be objective and you know say okay this is a rule a rule we applied here we're going to apply the same rule here then you know across the board you might uh, see that that person is honest or you know just we have this uh, situation here where if you remember i I guess you remember if you don't i will remind you or if i don't remind you i will let you know because you might not not heard about it it was a very um very much um promoted this uh, beautiful thing that the ukrainians uh ukrainian tennis players did not shake the belarusian tennis players hand or the russian uh, tennis players hands and it was so much applauded like a a courageous and fantastic the right thing to do after you win or you lose a um, tennis uh, match, you don't shake the hand of the competitor. It was so much, oh my god, that's great. Can you see the Ukrainian tennis player did not. She bashed the, like the, the Ukrainian, the, the Russian was involved in a war or something. Or the Russian was supposed to, I don't know, uh, take a shit on his government and, and her country. And since she didn't, that means she was guilty of the genocide. But the problem is that it was all revered and fantastic how she didn't agree. Well, from my perspective, was that's not classy. That person was not guilty of anything. Was not guilty of anything. And you are not uh, morally superior with anything. You just are. So what's your problem? Well, the problem is media and interest. Now we have a reversed situation here. When you have a... And the media sees it clearly. So then, with the Ukrainian and Belarusian players, or the Russian players, everybody was like, oh, it's good you didn't do it. Good. Bash those guys. Good thing. Now we have an Iranian uh, weightlifter. You know, supposedly, he shook an Israeli's uh, competitor's hand. And supposedly, according to CNN, we, we can trust that as the weather, um, said that uh, Iran banned that Iranian competitor for life from competing ever again because he dared to shake hands with the enemy so if this is wrong how was the other one right about ukrainians because in iranians uh, iranians mind obviously the, um, some uh, the government in israel is not a good government for them they call it zionist and all that that's their thing but how is that okay so if it was okay for the ukrainian to bash why is it not okay here? Would be okay for the Iranian to bash the RA, the Israeli weightlifter, which I think is stupid. It's a competitor. It's another human being. It's another human being. You're not over there to compete against Israel or against Russia or against Belarus. You're again over there to compete against you. And how do you test yourselves? Competing with others. So they actually helped you. They are people that helped you to see your level. Without them, you don't know how good you are. Let's say this weightlifter or whatever, the, the tennis player never played the Russian. She would not know how good she is. Ah, she has to play someone. She played another person, human being, young adult. Now, I don't know you guys, but I competed as a young adult in martial arts. I competed at national level, I competed at European, international level, and so on. So... Uh, I competed over there to test myself. I represented my country. I didn't care that I uh, fought a uh, Hungarian. I never cared. Uh, why did I mention the Hungarians? Because people uh, familiar with the situation know that Hungarians and uh, Romanians have a history of Anyway, I didn't care. I fought another guy and I thanked that guy the respect at the end. Also, as in Kyokushin, you know, Thank you for giving me the opportunity to test myself. You are a good opponent. You won or you lost. Doesn't really matter. You helped me. There's a whole purpose of this. You're not over there to, oh, I'm going to win for Putin. Fuck him. I don't care about that. I'm over there to win for me. To see how good I am. And we, as observers, 
You know, we should see, we should um, how should we, root for the person who's the best. I don't care if that's Ukrainian, Russian, Chinese, Romanian, Hungarian. I want to see quality. That's why I'm agree. Uh, I'm against uh, certain kind of uh, promotion of certain kind of things. Of uh, no, I don't want to see that. I want to see the best. You want to see that? Your choice. I don't want to see that. I want to see how fast a human being can run. I don't want to see a person. I'm gonna be bad without a finger. How fast that person can run. You got my analogy? I don't want to go deeper than that. You know exactly what I mean. I don't want to see this kind of Olympics. You do it, you watch it. I don't want to see that. I don't care about it. Good job. Good effort. Good effort. That shows determination. Excellent. But doesn't show quality. I want to see how fast the guy can run, how fast the guy, how be the best guy is in, in boxing and everything else. So the same here. Let me show you this little article. CNN Iran bans whale lifter for life. I'm not sure if that's true, just to start with, because that comes from CNN. And if they did it, I think that's stupid, just so you know. For shaking Israeli athlete's hand. Stupid as it is with the uh, Ukrainian not shaking the Russian or Belarusian's hand. As stupid in uh, both ways. August 31st, 2023. An Iranian professional whale lifter received a lifetime ban from competing after shaking the hand of an Israeli athlete during an international competition, according to an Iranian state news agency. So we got this Mustafa Raj Rajai, 36, was filmed shaking hands with and posing for a picture with Israeli Maxim Svirsky at the World's Master Weightlifting Camp Championship in Poland this week according to a video published by Iran state-run news agency Irna Wednesday. Raj Rajai, who won the silver medal at the competition, was banned for life from I don't even care, and says the Iran Weightlifting Federation as unacceptable and unforgivable. Imagine the Ukrainian uh, tennis player shaking the Belarusian or the Russian uh, athlete's hands. How do you think she would have been branded? Exactly the same. So shut the f up. These guys tried to ban the uh, Russian and the Belarusian athletes, young adults, you know, trying to reach a goal to achieve their dreams to, from competing in the Olympics. What is that? Why is that guy, 23-year-old person, who doesn't even know how to wipe his ass or her ass well yet? How do you think that person would feel? Do you think that she cares, oh, I'm for Putin, for Russia? And even if it's so, they got dreams. They're young adults. They're over there to compete for themselves. They train hard. Don't ignore that. You try to rob them from the opportunity to participate. So again, here these guys are, oh yeah, they did it. That's a bad thing. This is the whole article. I looked over, I skimmed through. The article is bashing the Iranian um, Federation or whatever Federation for doing that. And for good reason. They should not ban that guy shaking hands with that. But on the other hand, I don't know exactly how they feel about it. So I'm an outsider, so I'm not in the middle of it. I understand that. So for the fact that the fact that the Ukrainian did not shake the Russian uh, athlete's hand, I think from outside that's poor sports sportsmanship and speaks more about you than about the other, the opposition, the guy over there. Shake hands. That shows who you are, and that reminds me of this. It was a story about Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the former U.S. president that was shot in the head. Remember the, that one? Okay. Now, that guy... Uh, no, I'm sorry. It was not that guy. Jesus Christ. Uh, I got a secret to share. That's my wine in business. So anyway, I think that plays a role. So anyway, it, no, it was not Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. It was George Washington. And supposedly George Washington was walking down the street with another person and a slave... An African American, a black slave, uh, greeted uh, George Washington, saying "Good evening" or whatever he says, "Good day," whatever he says. And George Washington said, "Hello, how are you doing?" or "Good evening," and walk, keep walking. And the guy next to him that was walking with uh, Washington said, "How do you lower yourself to to greet a slave?" And this is what uh, George Washington reportedly, uh, whatever he said. He said, well, I respect myself. I don't want to show that I'm inferior to the slave because the slave did something nice. He said, hello, what am I supposed to do? If I was ignoring that, I was just a prick. This is my, uh, this is my, my words. He didn't say prick. He said something else. But the point here, 
is not showing what he is shows what you are so when you don't go over there and shake your hand shake the hand of the other guy doesn't show what he is shows what you are be what you are and it shows the same that guy shook his the hand of another athlete respect because when you go and compete over there you compete with your abilities your effort your tenacity against someone else other human being is Iranian, Iranian, uh, Israeli, Romanian, American. Uh, no, no. Anyway, that's all I had to say. It's just how these guys look at the same thing, a little bit in reverse. You know, how they, oh my God, that's so bad. I don't hear CNN bashing the Ukrainian uh, tennis players uh, doing the same thing, kind of, in reverse. You understand that? This is uh, things. Uh, these are the people who write articles for us and make our opinions, form our opinions. This name is Mustafa Salem CNN. I have some good words to say, but I'm going to enjoy this uh, homemade wine. I make it very good because I made it. <laughs> it's good because I like it. That's all it that matters. It's not good if, if you don't like it. The same. Here is my offer. You don't like it. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.